Hi everybody, it's Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. We are on February 15th and so I can say that we're officially half over February now. With our extra day this February, it made it till noon today before we were halfway through. So we did it though. <laughs> and you know what we did today? Ooh, it was a busy day. Um, 14 cards pretty much designed for the Hi, trusty tools stamp a stack you guys i got good i figured out how to get that uh that video up so i can watch it without finagling with you guys <laughs> while i'm like finagling with it while i'm trying to, to be with you guys so yay awesome awesome so don't forget to hit the thumbs up button everybody i really appreciate it um that helps to share the love uh we have somebody's grandma from ohio um, i'm curious i don't know who somebody's grandma is <laughs> but you're probably somebody's grandma hi cindy runtree hi terry costin hi sandy wicklander there's debbie landauer from milwaukee a hop skip and a jump away you caught me live yay that's awesome i'm so excited someday when you're passing from between here and up north i would love for you to pop in hi debbie gas hi randy schultz hi barbara rudolph and there's karen wetstein yay Hi, Sherry Everett and Lynn Beasley. There's Sherry Martin. Yay, Susan Bellamy made it from Florida. Yay. Hi, Sherry Stewart and Judy Sharp. And there's Vicki Rodriguez, Mary Carls. Wow, you guys, everybody's rocking and rolling. Everybody's so punctual tonight. Hi, Randy Schultz. I think I said you. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, there's Cheryl Gremlich. You guys, sometimes the screen moves as I'm talking and I can't keep up with it. <laughs> Hi, Laura Sullivan. There's Mary Lemke. And she's a new grandma. Yay. Hi, Marcia Long. And there's Sarah Mitchell. Hi, Linda Kester. Angelique is here. Angelique, your beautiful card game in the mail today. I cannot wait to show it off. I love it. It's as beautiful as you are. Um, there's Deborah, and there's Donna, and Kathy, and Anna, and Patricia Wright. Yay. Okay. So, whew, you guys, we got a great class for you tonight. It's the Forever Love Ink, Paper, Scissors, and I'm excited to make these cards with you. They're so elegant and beautiful. If you have some weddings coming up, some anniversaries, some birthdays, thinking of you, I don't know. They're just all around awesome hello cards. Like, you could use them however you wanted. And I have a lot left, like oodles. You guys, uh, you you, pull, you kind of like pulled a fast one over on me. Uh, we had 122 for January. So we figured like 76 to 80 would be plenty. And it's more than plenty. We only have about 60, which is a lot. I'm not saying it's bad, but I just over forecasted. So if anybody is watching this video, I'm going to put it out here now. We have like 20 spots left for this class. All right. So if you're watching this tomorrow, in two weeks, in three months, in six months, I will probably have these kits waiting for you. So don't hesitate to reach out. Um, hi, Linda Hunt. Hi, Janice Ormiston. Hi, Jean Terwilliger. There's Linda Scott too. Yay. All right, so again, <laughs> don't hesitate to reach out. And once you guys see the cards, you might be like, oh yeah, these are really pretty. I'd love to get this. So don't, don't, don't feel like you don't want to miss out. <laughs> you don't have to miss out. So we're going to do is, I've got my yellow book in front of me. So before we get started, like with anything, I'm just going to do roll call because then I can put the book away. It's not going to be as long as it normally is, guys. All right, so we have Karen Wettstein, Pat Fleming, Francis Rodriguez, Mary Jo Stoll, Julie Biersbach, Annette Rollin, Brenda Cottrell, Jenna Helms, Karen Woods, Donna Grushke, Sandy Wicklander, Sherry Everett, Shirley Malarkey, Jeannie Parker, Angela Knudsen, Angelique McClendon, Deanna Stell, Jennifer Jones, Kathy Dolly Nagari, Terry Costin, Connie Moore, Barbara Rudolph, Diana Woodland. So this might be Diana's very first class where I got to say her name out loud. <laughs> so I know she's gotten a couple of classes from me recently, but this one was um, that she's getting it. So she might be making her cards. Oh, yeah, it's very, no, 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 we have, you guys, I'm thinking out loud and I shouldn't be, but um, we had, she had me hold them to mail with the trusty tools. So she won't be putting your cards together with me tonight, but I think it's her first class is my point. Hi, Karen Steig, and then, I mean, Karen Steig, Patty Wright, Jean Jurdis, Patty Taylor, Mary Sykes, Feline Mays, Laura Sullivan, Lisa LaFramboise, Linda Scott, Sharon Davis, Susan Bellamy, Gwen Petroshek, Leslie McMinn, Lynn Beasley, Nedra Dover, Kat Birch, Debbie Lindauer, Debbie's first class. Yay. Um, I think where I have the name on the list while I get to, it's like, it's, so you guys, it pops out at me when I say a name for the first time out loud <laughs> no, for class. Mary Lemke, Lori Baxter, Vicki Rodriguez, Carmen Melendez, Sherry Stewart, Kathleen Ketterman, another one. Mary Carls, Rose Garibaldi, 
Joanne Kahn and Rosie Proudy. Rosie, I think, is also a first time I'm saying her name out loud. So yeah, if you guys are here, you can shout yourself out. Yay, we have 50 that signed up for the online version, and I believe uh, Diane's got about eight for her in-person version, which isn't for a couple weeks. So if you're local and would like to do this class in person, you have time to get signed up with Diane. I know she's got a couple more spots that she could fill as well. So we'll do a door prize drawing later on um, once we get done with class for everybody that um, signed up for this one. So yay, I like to call out names uh, for people who took the class with me just to show a little extra appreciation and love to them. I really appreciate their support of my business. Um, so Laura's watching from the car and she'll be home soon, I bet. So yay, a lot of you girls I hear, I love it. So I mentioned in the beginning of this uh, live that we worked on the Trusty Tools stamp stack and I bet you any money that if I say, do you girls wanna see them? You guys are gonna be like, yup, mm-hmm. So I'll share them with you. So stamp stacks can be a little bit um, tricky. So stamp stacks, like we just did one. The Garden Meadow stamp stack was 12 different cards, all with about the same kind of concept going but it was 12 five by seven cards and that was a stamp stack. In the past, we've done like fragrant flowers or ringed with nature, like wonder, winter, winter, wonderful, the, the flowers, the flowers from like a year and a half ago. Um, just depends on the stamp stack. Sometimes we'll design four cards and you'll make four of each of those. And so you end up with 16 cards. Sometimes we'll do 15 cards total, which is five designs and three each. Um, hi, Sandy, Koi, Emery um, from Maine, yay. So. Sometimes, like today, we designed 14 unique designs and you'll be making one of each. And so it's still still a lot of cards. It's a stamp, it's a stamp of stacks. You're gonna be stamping a stack of cards. <laughs> and it was a lot. It, we started at about 8.30 this morning and I, I finished at like 10 after five. Diane had to leave around three to go uh, take care of the grandkiddos uh, and I worked, I should have stopped, but I couldn't stop. And so I, we had about 14 cards. And when she left, we had seven or eight of them done. And so I kind of didn't finish them, but pretty much finished them. Like they're not all pen, like, like securely tacked down, but they're all held on by um, like a, a dimensional or something. But I wanted to get them done because I was so excited because I wanted to share them with you. Uh, and so you'll see the 14 cards that we're doing for the stamp stack. Now the stamp stack, you'll get a pack of the trusty tools designer paper. You'll get uh, the naturals baker's twine. And hi, Dawn Tech. You'll also get the classic Matt Dots with your registration. So it's a $55 class, uh, $68 if you want it mailed. Um, and it includes full-size product. We get 14 cards. And oh my goodness, do you guys want to see them? <laughs> so, oh, are you ready to see them? Hi, Heather Grotto from Toronto, Canada. I think I'm going to share them with you guys so that you can um, just let me know uh, sooner rather than later if you want to get signed up for the class. The... It's gonna be while supplies last because I only can get so many of the trusty tools, designer series papers for free, right? With celebration going on just another two weeks yet, I don't know how many I'll be able to get yet. And so I I can only plan for so many and I know Diane can only, she's planning for like maybe six. And so if you're seeing these and you want them, you don't have to pay for the class now, but you can definitely get signed up now and that will help me uh, forecast how many we should plan for. So. Okay, and if anybody wants to sign up for this, just shoot me a text, send me an email, Facebook message me, however you want to get a hold of me just to say, hey, get my name on the list. Please remember though that you signed up because if you tell me to get your name on the list but you don't pay for it right now and you pay for it and say, can you sign me up and pay for it in two weeks? I probably will put your name on the list again. So just remember uh, to all, just sign up. When you sign up, keep track that you've signed up so you don't sign up again, okay? Otherwise it gets crazy. Hi, Georgine. Oh, you made it in person. Yay. Okay. So you guys ready for 14 cards? Okay. Oh man. Okay. Oh, we're going to start in the order that we made them. And so, oh, are you guys, I don't know. I haven't, I don't know how we're going to handle 14 in one class. Um, it might take me more than two and a half hours, you guys, for this class when I do it online. <sighs> Not sure, but okay. We're going to start right here. Yeah. If, if you, you guys, I'll be honest with you, there's not many people that who have signed up for this class right now, the stamp -a stack There are a few people signed up. If I don't call off your name, I'm just gonna just say, it. I have Janice Ormiston, Christy Wilcher, Feline Mays, Julie Beerschgott, 
Julie Bierschbach, Sherry Everett, and Sandy Coy Emery. I have six people signed up. So if your name wasn't listed there, you're not on the list. So you should reach out to me. Hi, Connie Moore. Okay, so this was the, I don't know if that was the first card we did. They might have gotten out of order. But, and I'm having the hard time with the, oh, I forgot to, nope, they're on there. You guys, the gems, uh, that little gray one kept falling off on me. So, all right, we had to do some pink cards in here just to give some shouts out to love to our lady builders out there, or our hardware ladies, <laughs> however you want to. They're all um, your favorite size, Laura Sullivan. They are A2. They are no five by sevens. They are not little mini cards. You guys, they are all A2. And we had to throw in some bedazzle with some bedazzly tools, right? Gotta add some sparkling goods to a girl's life. So, all right, so there's one. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these, but I'm going to just show them all to you. I'm going to find out where that little, oh my goodness, these gems don't want to stick over on the side here. They keep falling off on me. My goodness. So they're going into a spot where there's a hole and it, they don't want to stick. I got to get this little glue down. Sorry to do this in front of you guys. They just, they don't want to stick in the hole. I think I'm going to have to put, um, I'm going to have to put some liquid glue down first and that one's lost all of its stick and we're gonna put this, this right there so they're trying to attach to where a hole is and they don't like it and one's fallen off already okay so there we go there's card number two awesome so you guys you will get the cardstock anything die cut uh, with a cardstock will be die cut and you will use your tool paper to get all the tools here no no stamps required except for some background lines on some of the cards and sentiments all right and so now you might not like the sentiments on here and that's okay because when you're at home making this class on your own, you can use whatever sentiments you want. Um, perfect, Vicki. Yep, I can definitely get you. Uh, yes, Cheryl says she always uses glue with them. All right, here's this guy right here. So again, um, Father's Day. People are a little bit odd about Father's Day and Mother's Day. Um, and I have this conversation in class whenever we are using Father's Day, Mother's Day. Um, you may not have... Um, your mother or father with you on earth. Uh, they're in with in heaven, hopefully, right? And uh, that doesn't mean, though, that there aren't people in your life that you could send Father's Day and Mother's Day cards to, like siblings or um, nieces or nephews or um, other people in your life that could get Father's Day and Mother's Day cards. So it doesn't have to mean that it's you sending a card to your, your parent. I mean, it could be you sending this to anybody that you think could use a Father's Day or Mother's Day. And again, you guys don't have to use the sentiments we use because you can use whatever sentiments you want. So that one's our third card. And then this one says birthday wishes. And when you open it up, it's a gatefold like this. Anything that you see that is tool related like this is all from the designer paper. So sentiments are only thing that is needed from a, a stamp perspective. Oh, we love this one. This one took us a little bit to get out, but we're happy. And we made it look like the pencil is handwriting our, our sentiment on this card for us. And there's that one. All right, the next card, another girly girl card. Got to get our pink in here and our bedazzled tools using the bedazzly paper for the washer and the screw and the bolt or whatever. Thank you guys, it's lingo. Uh -huh. All right, Pat Fleming. Yep, perfect. Uh, and Angelique. There's another one, you guys. So we were on the struggle bus, you guys. We kitted up uh, 96 tool cards on Tuesday. And Diane and I were fretting about designing these cards. And they weeks so that we could have even designed 10 more cards if we, if we wanted. And here's a thank you card. Again, you can make it whatever you want. And then this one opens up like this. And so every one of these, we put a little tool. So you'll be, you know, you're going to be a lot of fussy cutting. So like we said this morning when we started, we're like on the forecast for today, fussy cutting. We definitely threw in another little tool cart, but a little bit bigger and added more tools to it. And it's just a card to say hello. And then that one has a little flat wrench or flat screwdriver. Words are hard with these kind of things. Uh, <laughs> they're tools. Um, here's this guy right here. So again, it's a $55 class, $68 mailed. And if you go out to my website right now, it might say 55 and 65. It is 68. I need to fix my website. Um, it is a, a big pack of paper. You're going to get, a, it's a 12 by 12. You get a full pack of DSP with this class. And then you'll get the pack of Baker's Twine and you'll get the pack of gems. So uh, don't go paying on my website right now because the wrong price is there. So just get signed up at the moment, guys. Don't, don't have to pay for it right now. All right, here's your pegboard. 
I have to put embellishments on this one yet. And this one is one where I don't have it all tacked down. I want to get Diane's approval, like to make sure she's happy with it. And we might stick some little gems in there, but you got all your tools on the pegboard here. I got to just slightly put more dimensionals and tape, but there's that one. Perfect. So we were hearing from people that they wanted a guy's card stamp a stack. And so Anna's Astro, hint, hint, this is your class here. But look at that, guys. Our, again, it says dad, but you don't have to put dad. You could put whatever you want on there. And the other thing, too, is if you have grandkids who you want to help them out and give Father's Day cards to their parents, then you could make their cards for them. And it could say, Dad, Happy Father's Day. And then it could give you give it to your grandchildren to give to their dad. So you could always make cards like that for them. Here's another one. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. So, oh my goodness, you guys, we cut out a lot of tools. So again, it was on the radar for day or, or like forecast today. <laughs> Lots of fussy cutting. And then another girly girl one here. Yay. So, so I got to add some more gems on here. This is one where I ran out of gray gems. So look at the little power tool here. We put like the bedazzly power tool, like the drill bit or whatever in the glittery paper. So we had to add that. So we got that one, and then there's one more and another pegboard card. So yeah, look at that one. Holy tools, right? My goodness, lots of tools. So again, at this moment to get signed up, just send me a message. Tell me that you want to get signed up for it. If you want to pay for it outside of my system, you can send $68 already for it. Um, and if you want to pay for it via my website, just hang tight. I need to update the need to update the the registration form to show $68 instead of 65. I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed the, the supply item for when I ship the six by six paper, but this is going to be 12 by 12 paper. And it's more expensive to ship that because it's in a, like a 13 by 13 package versus a small package. So oh, that was a lot, you guys. I'm like, oof, I rolled out of my craft room at like about 5 15 and I was starving. <laughs> I had a, it was like, I needed to scarf something out because it was like, oh man, I'm hungry. So it was a hard working day. <laughs> so, oh, Laura Sullivan, this will be perfect for your contractor building the apartment. Yes, you guys, those cards are awesome for anybody. Um, anybody that helps you out with anything. It doesn't even have to be carpentry related or building related. It can be just helping because they're just, they're all around awesome, fun cards. So um, and Sandy said she wasn't in love with the bundle, but I do need some masculine cards and getting the card kit was better than buying the bundle. Exactly. You guys, with this one right here, those sentiments weren't even all from the tools stamp set. We used charming sentiments. We used sending smiles. We used gone fishing and we used the trusty tools. So we used four different stamp sets and only for the sentiments. So you do not need to buy the trusty tools bundle just for this class. You need sentiments. So uh, it is going to be the perfect class for anybody that wanted some tool cards to, to share the love of that with others. So perfect. Okay. So were you guys excited to see that? <laughs> oh man, I'm just looking back to see if I missed anybody. So I see a bunch of you gals uh, saying to sign you up. So yes, and 68. Um, Don Tuck, Tuck asked and somebody replied, yes, it is $68 for that. And that is because it's a product-based class and you get 12 by 12 embellishments, ribbon, 12, 14 card kits and 14 envelopes. So thanks, Joy and Con. <sighs> Hi, Tanya Jackson. Okay. Hi, Randy Schultz. Oh, you love the designs. Oh, Judy Sharp said to sign her up. Yay. Okay. So just right there alone, you guys, we have 10 people that signed up. So I think I'm going to have to cap this class around 30. <laughs> so, um, because like, again, it comes down to me seeing how many packs of the designer paper I can get with orders. Right. Uh, so yay. Okay. Um, we're going to make um, three or four. Um, we're doing four lovely forever love cards today. I'm trying to figure out where they're sitting. They were just here. Um, next month, you guys, for ink. Oh, they're right here. So just so you guys can see here, this is what we're going to be making tonight. Momentarily, we'll get started doing these cards. Um, there, we're going to do those four. And then, or excuse me, these two and then these two here. That's what we're going to do momentarily. But just so you guys can already know what's going on. Some of you might not have seen this. Um, last night I showed off a lot of cards, um, during my kit class. Um, yep, Julie, you're signed up. So this one right here is the Poetic Expressions Ink, Paper, Scissors for next month. Two of them are shaker cards because you're going to get a whole pack of the champagne dots here. So one's a faker shaker and one's a real shaker. And then we've got two more here that 
are just beautiful. So this is the ink paper scissors. These are the ink paper scissors cards for next month. So you guys can already get signed up. Again, you don't have to pay for anything right now for next month if you don't want to. If you want to, you can. I'm not going to stop you. Um, but that's ink, paper, scissors for next month, just so you guys are aware. Um, we did say last night during the kit class that uh, we ended up kitting up four more of this class. And I know Marsha Long wants one more. And I think that means that we'd have three more of the ink, paper, scissors from January in case anybody still would like it that didn't get signed up. Okay, so then... The other thing to yesterday or Tuesday, yep, today, no, today's Thursday. On Tuesday, we kitted up the, um, what is the date for the Stampus deck? That's a good question, Rose. It is a March. It's March 29th. It's a Friday. And again, if you can't make the live, you can always catch the replay. You don't have to uh, watch it when I'm live. That's the great thing about uh, YouTube videos as you can watch them whenever. Um, we did cut up the Fun Folds class that's coming up in two weeks. It's the 29th. And so the four Fun Folds is the Celebration Hoorah Raw card class. And so if anybody would still like to get signed up for this class, I have about 10 left now. I think that last week I had 20 and now I'm down to 10. And then there are four Fun Folds. All right. So that's the Hoorah Raw class. And definitely um, reach out to me if you want that. The tools now that we are doing on the 22nd, so next week, Thursday, is the sweet class featuring the tools. Another set where you do not need to have the stamp set. Uh, all of your bits and parts will come, like this is all die cut for you, and we got a pegboard, it's slightly different, not jam-packed full of tools, but still pretty cool. Uh, you just need a sentiment on the outside. This one is the, the cart, but a little bit smaller of a cart. <laughs> we put these little baby wheels on that other cart and it looked like it was gonna fall over. So we had to use three quarter inch wheels on the other ones. These are just halfers. So you have that cart, so you'll get all your, these all these tools and stuff are from the designer paper. And then again, this is a card inspired by Judy Sharp. She let me case her card. And so you'll make this, it's a fun fold with your little doors. And then that actually goes up, it rolls flat. And then this was the other card and so I still have to put my embellishments on the edge here. But um, again, you don't need to have any of the trusty tools stamps all, unless you want to stamp them on the inside. You just need sentiments. And so I have about 20 left for this class in case anybody was still um, wanting to get this one. All right, so that's a little bit else what's coming up. Um, just a little bit more, you guys, I was just going to share with you. What we're doing on Monday at 1 o'clock is the Let's Just Stamp class. And I have about... 18 of these left in case anybody's still interested in signing up for this one. This is a fun fold that goes like this. And then this one. And this feature is the Hooray for Surprises, I think, is what the name is. And that's next Monday. And then I think, you guys, I will save some of this stuff. This is the MS Benefit. I've been showing it a lot already. Um, the And then I've also got the monthly class for next month already done. And then I've got the Let's Just Stamp for next month already done. So you guys, we're gonna be photographing these, publishing them. I'll be doing a showcase video soon. Um, I think we have like two more card classes for next month to design and then we'll do a showcase. And the showcase will probably be at the end of next week, early the following week. So, all right, we'll have to watch the replay, but they look awesome. Thank you so much, Kathy Showalter. I think that's Kathy Showalter, if I had to guess if it's Kathy S. <laughs> All right. Oh, and Sandy signed up for the Inspiration Hive. Yay. So, uh, Sandy, that is a good point. You guys, if you missed the kit class last night, it was Valentine's Day, and I don't usually do classes on Valentine's Day. It's like, I don't ever do anything on Valentine's Day, but I had to move the kit class from one o'clock yesterday to last night because we were still doing mailings for about three hours or four hours right in the middle of the afternoon. And so I did the kit class last night, you guys. There was about 50 or 55 people watching. It was pretty amazing. It was awesome. We talked about the Inspiration Hive. So if people uh, were curious about that members area that I created, um, it went live two days ago. And we talked about it a lot in the kit class last night. So uh, if you guys didn't watch the kit class or see it yet, you could go back to that video from last night and check it out. Um, so that's what Sandy was saying. I think there are about 15 people that have signed up already, uh, which is awesome. So what was the name of the trusty tools class that you just showed? It, I would be interested in that and possibly the stamp stack. I will send you a text when I get the name on. Oh, perfect. So Tanya, the four card class that I just showed you is the trusty tools bundle class that is set for next week, the 22nd. 
And the trusty tool stamp is stack is March 29th. I believe it's at 1 p.m. Um, it's on my calendar already. So if you go to my events calendar for March 29th, you should see it there. Again, the pricing is wrong. It's off by $3. Uh, so sorry. I know it's only $3, but I want to get it right because $3 times a bunch of people adds up, right? <laughs> so, okay. So I think we're ready to get started. This is our ink, paper, scissors class. And with ink, paper, scissors, this is what it looks like when you get it. Okay. It comes in a little bag and you have a little yellow slip on here for the name of the class. And then we have your name at the top. This slip of paper is for you. It's wrong, you guys. I am so sorry. Kelly, I meant to write this in the email. And if, so if you guys aren't putting this class together right now, I still challenge you to fix the date. So Kelly put the date for the in-person, or maybe I told her that I can't remember how it happened, but this is the in-person date. So this really should stay. So if you're not putting your cards together today, what you should do is cross this off and still put the 15th. Because then if you go to my events calendar for today, in a moment, when we're done with class, I'll put the link to the YouTube video in there. So you guys will get your four card kits, which we'll work on momentarily. You'll have a quarter pack of designer series paper, which gives you two each of six papers here. So there should be 12 pieces of paper here. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of pretty peacock going on. Hi, Feline Mays. Oh, it's not there. Oh, Jean signed up. Also, I think I saw that. Oh, and Patty signed up. Yay. Um... It's not there? Oh man, okay, that surprises me. Maybe it doesn't surprise me. Oh, okay, you're right, Rose, you're right. You know, I was in Miami a couple weekends ago and you guys, I worked the entire weekend. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm between helping my friend Marlies and working on my website and stuff. I created every class through the whole year, except for I didn't finish the Memories of More classes, the Stampa Stacks, and other ad hoc classes like the launch parties are in color. So you're right, Rose. I got to add that to my list to do tonight. So, <laughs> so somewhere I have it out there that the pricing is wrong for um, the stamp attack. So Sandy, I don't know where you saw the 65, but I got to fix that wherever that is. So you guys will also get a pack of the petal pink and peacock gems here, the foil gems, and then you get a roll of the ribbon. So whenever you get an ink, paper, scissors for me, it includes designer series paper, a quarter pack, an embellishment, and a ribbon. And I already have my opened ones here, so I don't need to use those. Um, and what we're going to do as a group first is, I know Deanna Stell, I love Pretty Peacock too. I would have to say it's one of my favorite colors and it goes with so many different things. What we're going to do first as a group is we're going to cut our designer series paper. So I'm going to put this back there because I grabbed, I grabbed these guys, which are this, this one of each of the sheets here. So let's grab out our trimmer. Thanks for sharing, Sherry Martin. And we're going to cut our paper first. Okay. So this one is pretty simple. Now, you're wondering probably where this paper comes from. Uh, these are actually the, the, the cards in the envelopes. Oh, man, one moment, please. I got, I jumped the gun here. So this suite is part of the Forever Love Suite on pages 14 to 16. So let's open it up really quick so you guys can see this all. So you can get card ideas over here, catalogs. If you guys don't have your Stampin' Up! catalog and you don't have a demonstrator that you already work with, let me know. I can help get you a catalog. It has designer paper, the gems, and the ribbon. And then there, this is what the cards and the envelopes look like. So it is a front and a back of a card base. And what we did is we cut it apart. Thanks for sharing and liking, Jennifer Jones. Um, perfect, Sandy. I'll check for your email. Um, so this is the front and back of a card that really folds in half. Um, and what we did is we used one half for your one card and one half for the other card. And lots of dies got love here. And um, the other side here shows the bundle. And then, um, just to give you guys a sneak a peek here, I might as well show you in here. The paper is called Forever Love, I believe. Mm, yep, over here. Some bigger squares of the paper so you can see them. So we tried to use at least every page at least once. And so this is my DSP sampler. Um, I have this available too in case anybody is watching me and hasn't gotten it yet. It has all the different new papers in it for the spring mini catalog. And I have about eight of these left in case anybody's wondering. They come with the white pages and you just need to glue it together. So just reach out to me. It comes in a kit that looks something similar to this where the pages are printed and you have your little baggies full of all your parts and they're labeled. So, all right. So we got that 
shown to you guys. So now you know where these two pages come from, these two pieces come from. All right, but we're going back to this one. So this uses the pattern. Thanks for sending me a text, Linda. It's this pattern right here. All right, and there are flowers on here. These little inside middle where the X's kind of meet are little flowers. And what you're gonna do is just cut a mat. That is five and a quarter by four. And so I'm gonna cut it at four. Ooh, look at that, a treat for me here, a piece of paper. All right, we're gonna cut this at four. I'm doing four first, cause then it leaves me two inches on the side here in case I wanna do my envelope. So we're gonna do four here and it's by five and a quarter. And so we're gonna just flip it this way. And then this piece right here, either use it for the inside or you might have this piece in your kit that you could use, but this is a scrap. So we'll put that on the scrap pile. We're gonna just set this over there. And then, <laughs> I don't know, did we use DSP on this one? No, I don't think we did. <laughs> okay. I don't think we used anything on this one that we need to cut. So we'll, we'll save that one for last. And we'll do this one next. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> wow. I had like a, wow, we didn't use DSP on there. Okay. But I'm like, I know we each, we used each one at least once. All right. This is the one we're going to use for this one. All right. That's this piece. And it's another five and a quarter by four. So figure out where you want your paper. Some of it gets covered up by the vellum. So I'm going to cut it this way, though, because I feel like the paper has a direction going this way. So I'm going to cut it at four first here. Now this is extra. You could save it for your envelope. And then we got by five and a quarter. All right. So you guys, I do have, I've got class tonight for a bit with you. And then I've got a little bit or a lot of computer work to do. And I don't know... I haven't been on my emails all day, so just know if you do message me, um, just give me some time to reply to your emails, um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. This little flower here is actually from one of these as well. It's from this piece right here. So depending on what you got in your kit, you should have hopefully have one that either looks like that or like this, that is in the middle of the page and not partially cut off. And what you wanna do is grab it out now, and we're gonna set it with it. And this one has two, roses but this one has three and I'm gonna go for the one over here that has three and we're going to just flip this out of here like that and set it with it now here's another piece like this so like here's one that has a cluster of three that's very similar and here's one that's got three um, like this one it just depends how the paper got cut it got all got cut by six by six but like here this one has one in there and one there and between your two pieces, you should have at least one of those patterns that is three flowers, like that was the goal, okay? So that was this one. Now this one uses three pieces, and so it uses the stripe paper, it uses that, and it uses that. So that, to me, did we miss one? This one, did we not use that? On? Nope, that's the one we're cutting right now. So I think that's six pieces of paper. So you should have cut into each pattern at least once. Now this is just a little side strip over here. That's I believe just one inch by five and a quarter. So the easiest thing to do here is cut off an inch. So we're gonna measure over here at an inch. And this is extra and then it's by five and a quarter. So we'll just flip it this way and do five and a quarter. All right, so that's one then the flower comes out of here. So there's gonna be different flowers as well. This is a big daddy. This is a little mama. Like, which one do you like? You could use either one. And both of these aren't the same as this one. But if you look at your pack of paper, you should have another piece. And like, here's a really big papa. Like that could go in the middle there too. It covers up more of the, um, the, da -da -da, the rectangle. Hi, Barbara Gabby. Um, so between them, you should have at least one that you can use um, that is like a little bit smaller than that deckled rectangle. And I'm gonna just take my scissors and I think I'm just gonna chop up like this and I'll use this one on mine. I don't need 
this stuff over here. This could always be used on something else later. And then there's one thing else that we need to cut and it's this Moody Mauve piece. And that is the size that is, I'm looking here, five and a 16th by two and nine sixteenths. So five and a 16th tall. So I have my lines going like this. So five and a 16th that way. And then two and nine sixteenths this way. Now, if you don't operate or work in sixteenths, just go up or go down, right? That you're going to be in the eighths. I have it right now that when I cut it with the sixteenths, I end up with that much vanilla border, which is what I like. If you cut it smaller, this smaller, you're going to see more vanilla. If you cut this bigger, you're going to see less vanilla. Okay? So that's what we need for this kit. And that leaves this one. And I don't think there's any extra DSP on here, but it makes it look like there's DSP because that's part of that, that card. All right, so then what happens is you have, you should have, you should have six sheets left that you didn't dip into. Yep. And then you have this leftover to make more pretty things or to use for decorating your envelopes. So that's what's nice about, people like that about ink, paper, scissors, is it gives you a little sampling of the paper and you can choose to make more pretty things with it or not. All right, so that should be it for the cutting. All right, so now what we're gonna do, just to keep things simple, we are going to just put our designer series paper in with the kit that it belongs with. So this one is the vellum card. So I'm just gonna put these in here for now. All right, this is something too that's good to get done because then if you don't get to your cards right away, you um, that's okay, you have the paper cut. So this one I could feel in the inside here, there was a, a score line really close. So that's this one. So we're gonna put that with this, that here. And then this one, ooh, now I forgot about this, you guys. Uh, this is the envelope that comes with the kit, this uh, why are the colored colors? They come from stamping. So the stamps are here and you get it. We're, we're going to get to that in a little bit, Sandy, but the, that's where the colored flowers come from. The stamp set called Lifetime of Love, which is what we're featuring tonight. So when we took, we kitted a bunch for this class. Let's say we kit 96. We use 96. This was the, the note card or the card. And then you fold it and it's the front and the back is decorated. And then they each came with these envelopes. And so each one of you got one of these envelopes for one of these cards. And so this one is this card right here, which doesn't need any designer paper. And then the other vanilla envelope is where this goes to. All right. So now that we have everything situated, Easy cutting this time. Oh my gosh, right, Joanne? Oh my goodness. That was like a piece of cake, like a cakewalk. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll make the cards. So I'm gonna do them in this order. So we're gonna start with this one. All right, but before we start, we're gonna take a drink of water. This girl did not drink enough water today, you guys. It was a, a massive flurry of <laughs> designing. All right, so. Sandy asked, where did the flowers come from? So the sets that we're using tonight are the Lifetime of Love, which is the, the stamp sets that is included in the suite or the bundle. The other thing we pulled in was Charming Sentiments, and that's where this congratulations comes from, right? So I had to run upstairs. Oh, man, it's on a block. Oh, it's on a block. I had to run upstairs and get this because we were using, oh, I forgot about that, you guys. We were using Charming Sentiments for the, tra the tool stamp -a stack We definitely pulled in the Happy Birthdays and Wishing You everything wonderful. That set was also used in the tools. All right. So we need congratulations. And on the inside, we have wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness and that little flowery thing. So we're going to use that flower thing, flower, and the sentiment that is the big one. So we'll get that stuff ready. And peacock ink. You know, I knew I needed peacock ink, but do you think I grabbed it? No, I didn't. I left it on the table. Hang on. Hanky doodle. Okay, I got that. 
so we need to stamp a couple things and cut out a flower. That's like the main thing. Um, it's hard to see this, but back here, <laughs> I'm, I, I had to laugh to myself. Um, all right, Don, we'll talk to you later. You'll have to be careful in mailing the special envelope because of the lacy part of the envelope if it's not glued. That is exactly correct, Sandy. Yep, it will definitely get caught. So behind here, there's actually some lines that are stamped and it's hard to see them, but they create a little bit of texture. And you think that I would have remembered that and we were using Gone Fishing today. Um, we were using Gone Fishing today to stamp for the Trusty Tool stamp stack. So I left that upstairs and I'm thinking in my head, what can I use in lieu of that so I don't have to run upstairs and take time to get it. In your kit, you're gonna have the little strip for your sentiment, just a half inch. You're gonna have this vanilla piece and that is, thanks Barbara. Um, he, yes, the set is beautiful then this is the mat for that. You have your deckled rectangle that was already cut for you. And it gets matted onto the peacock like that. And then you'll have a double matting for your inside. You guys, when we do ink, paper, scissors, when I design with Diane and we design ink, paper, scissors, it is a requirement <laughs> that we double mat because it just adds so much to it when you can have a complementary color on the inside. So that's why you have a double mat going on. So what we're gonna do, so when I fold this, I don't wanna have any overlap. I want them just to butt up next to each other. So what I'm gonna do is make sure they're butted up really good to each other. And then I'm gonna burnish them like that. Okay, perfect. So um, we are going to do a little bit of stamping. So let's grab the congratulations and Stamp that first. Now your sentiment strip is longer than what it needs to be, and that's okay. You're gonna just trim your ends then. The dirt road from trucking along. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate that insider information. I'm going to go get trucking along. All right, so we're gonna stamp congratulations right there. Good deal. I'm overthinking it. I want it to be a little bit higher. Just a hair higher. Good. So when you guys do something like that and you don't like the way you stamp it, then just put an X through the side that you don't like so you don't get confused later. And then I'm going to go get trucking along really quick. Hang on. That's perfect, Debbie. Okay. So... I appreciate you thinking ahead so I knew what to go grab right away. She said the dirt here from the trucking along would be perfect to give us some lines. And right over here. The gone fishing is a little bit bigger, so it takes less stamping, but this will work just as well, amazingly well. And you might not have this stamp, uh, the gone fishing stamp set. This though is done in crumb cake and it is stamped off a little bit and this is only done to create some texture oh i just did it wrong ha ha we're shutting that you guys have you ever done that at home i bet you have okay i'm just glad i didn't cross contaminate ink okay so back to the crumbs of the cake we're going to wax on wax off and i think i want I want to do second strength. All right, so stamp off, little line. Stamp off, little line. Stamp off, little line. You're just creating a little bit of background on here so that it helped so it wasn't so vanilla. Oh, so Sandy was saying that her mini embossing machine is just a bit too small for the mini embossing folders from Stampin' Up. You might, do you not have a Stampin' Up mini embossing machine because the mini embossing machine from Stampin' Up fits the mini embossing folders. You guys were just creating a little bit of background on the vanilla piece. 
Again, going fishing would have been first choice. Trucking along here is a, a close second, just to give it some character. You could also take a big background stamp that has a really pretty pattern and do that. It's just to give it something so that it fills it in. So it's not so blank. Okay, I'm gonna see what that looks like and come back to it in a little bit. But the inside also has a flower, flower stamped. So let's grab the flower, which is right here. And I'm gonna stamp it. Hi, Catherine Healy. I'm gonna stamp off because it's really dark and then I'm gonna stamp second strength. Oh, and that's even too light. So we're gonna go flip it over. We're gonna go for the first strength and just do that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so that's it for stamping for the moment. We'll shut this up. And then you will need this piece, this flower. So if I had a Vanna White here, she'd be helping me out and she would have cut this already. But I don't have a Vanna White and Honey and Hunky and Tigger do not have opposable thumbs or the appropriate equipment to do any cutting. Uh, they say, Mom, our paws are not allowing us to do this, so they don't help me with a lot of things. <laughs> I'd have them working really hard every day to earn their food that we feed them. Holy Moses. And cleaning out their litter box. <laughs> We'd make them <laughs> clean out their own litter boxes. All right. So all we're doing is cutting around this flower and leaving a little bit of Moody Mauve card color. You're like the color along the edge. Now, some people do like to color... Uh, color. You, the words were hard all day today. Um, the, I kept calling the level a ruler all day until the point where I got Diane calling it a, a ruler. But I'm like, doesn't a level have a ruler on it? So isn't it truly a ruler as well? Um, but some people like to not leave any border and some people like to leave a little bit more of a border and some people like, I like a, a like just, just right. <laughs> That's the size border I like, the one that's just right. All right. Pepper has extra thumbs. Yes. He has two left paws. They have six toes, like um, Ernest Hemingway's kittens. All right, you guys, I'm going to go down into this nook and cranny here, and I'm going to work this middle section out as well. And... Hard to see when you got that flower there, but we're gonna work our way up here and keep going around. And I'm gonna go into this little nook and cranny here and work it out here. Perfect, so we're getting there, almost there. And then we'll do a, a little bit of final assembly. We'll get everything glued down and you're gonna see how easy this card is to make. Okay, so the deckled rectangles are awesome. They also have deckled circles, so that's pretty cool. They got away from our, they used to have stitched rectangles and people were sad, but then when they came out with the deckled, there was something that was easily interchangeable. All right, so we get down to here and round the, the little stem and we've got that done. All right, if that's the hardest thing you have to do today, <laughs> Is fussy cut out a flower, then that's good. Okay, take a couple deep breaths, and so that's what the flower looks like. One, so that's the flower I picked, which again, it's not that flower, but it's a flower and it'll work perfectly fine. All right, so then what I'm going to do is just test this. I'm, <laughs> I think that would go against child labor laws, yep, <laughs> if we made them clean up their own poops. All right, so the little label goes there. I feel like I'm going to do a couple more here. And I'm gonna do one more up there. So I'm not quite done stamping. So we'll bring back our crumbs of the cake. And I don't remember if it was right there, but it seems like it was right there and right there. And there was one more there. Perfect, Debbie Gast, amazing. That I didn't have to go scour the stamping supply room over there for different stamps. Okay, so what are we gonna do first? We can do some gluing. So let's glue 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 so we can glue this and this and this 
and this, and this and this. <laughs> yes, you guys, we can do all of this. So if I'm opening up the glue, and that is flat, yep. All right, if I'm opening up the glue, I wanna make the most of my gluing exercise here. So we're gonna do that, that, this one. All right, and then we just hope that the kittens don't jump up here. First things first, this can go on here. I did dry fit everything before I loaded everything up with glue. I don't know if you guys saw I was holding things up, except for that one. I didn't dry fit that, but we're going to do this one first. Or I trusted the system if I didn't dry fit. <laughs> you trust the person that cut your cardstock for you, right? All right. I did put this one up. I do know that. All right. So then that goes there. Flowers have a direction to them. I noticed that I cut it the right way. <laughs> My flowers are going up this way versus going crooked and sideways. So, so I'm happy about that. All right, so there's that. And then we'll open this up. And we're gonna put the pink one in first. Like that. And then we will do this one. Right there. All right, I will tell you that if you are so inclined, I did color my flowers down there very lightly with some colored pencils. Using blends on something so small, <clears throat> we didn't like the thought of that. Oh, I forgot to stamp a sentiment there. So I'll come back to that. Um, Daffodil Delight, we used Flirty Flamingo, I think, or Melon Mambo, and then a little bit of Coastal Cabana because the Coastal Cabana brings out the peacock. So wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. I definitely forgot to stamp that. So Let's grab our peacock back. And I don't generally stamp after I've glued in the inside, but we're going for it. So we're going to hope and pray that it turns out good and you don't have a halo. All right, so we're going to shut that back up. Good. Okay, so inside's complete, unless you want to color. That goes here. And then now I wanna make sure I got my flower right. Oh yes, perfect. Okay, now for doing this, we're going to use dimensionals. I got some dimensionals left over from the kit class last night and it's just the edges. So I'd like to take and cut them and utilize all of that. And we're going to put dimensionals. So this was my left side. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put three dimensionals going down the left side, and then I'm gonna put three dimensionals down the right side on my flap, because I don't wanna risk it going over. And so then I'm gonna pick these off and pick this off. And now by putting them on this side and this side, I don't risk going over. Let's just get set down the front of your card like that. Now you don't have any glue dots or any adhesive over here. You guys like the flower. Good, good, good. Okay, now for this one, what I'm going to do is pop up the top like this. And then I'm going to leave the bottom flat. Because I'm going to be popping up the label on the bottom. So now for here, I'm just going to run a little bit of liquid glue there. And I think for good measure, we're going to put one more right there. All right, if I know a spot for your rose ensemble here. It can hang over the bottom a little bit. Unless you don't like that. If you don't like it, that's fine. You can cut it off, but I don't mind it hanging down. And then with our scissors, we're going to just trim. At a, I like angled ends like this but you could banner it, you could inverse banner it. Um, but I like it like that. Oh, I cut the right side, okay, good. There was a little X on there, so that's good. All right, then we need to grab our tearing tape. And it's over on the left-hand side. And we're going to do a loop, a loop, and a tail. Grab that tearing tape waiting in the wings and ribbon here. You're going to start underneath where the R is, the R is if you used this congratulations. 
and I made a small loop like this and I caught the tear and tape on the back. I brought it back at an angle and do another little loop and then I bring it back at more of an angle and grab my ribbon scissors, cut it at an angle and I didn't waste any ribbon then. You need that tear and tape to go on the back there to hold it down. Cool. Now, we're gonna adhere this with a couple dimensionals. Whoa, I didn't cut that side. That's ribbon, so let's put that back down. And I'm gonna put one here. Now, what I'm gonna do is pick off just a little bit of this tear and tape on the back side here, but not all of it. I'm just gonna pick enough, pick off enough so that I can put my dimensional right there. Perfect. And you can see it just a little bit. So let's bring it back down. All right, and that's gonna go right across the bottom here. Find the perfect spot for it. Just like that. Stella it up however you want to Stella and then, there's a sequin right there. Okay, so when you open up your embellishments, I always, I hate the plasticky flap thing, so I always just slice them like that, and then I can easily just grab them. And we're going to do, I got three on here, and I went with all small ones for some reason, and that's okay, and I don't think any fell off. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab these. You really have to press these down too. So that they stick good. There's two, and then I've got one more. Oh, you know what? That one, a big one, would look good. So let's grab a big boy. There it is. Okay, right there. All right. And voila, is what Kelly would say. We got one done. Open it up. Wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. So you've got a beautiful wedding card ready for when you need it. And now, if you don't need wedding cards, this could be a very pretty happy birthday. Thinking of you could be a sympathy card too. I don't think it's too fancy for a sympathy card. You just change up the sentiments. It could be a thinking, um, a well wishes. Um, it could be anything. Um, a happy retirement. Well, lots of these cards are universal just by putting the different sentiments on. Okay, all right. Very good, very good. One done. All right, so let's see which one we're gonna, I'll leave it sit here in case you guys are still working or looking at it, studying it. Grab the next one. All right, let's see what we have here. So, thanks Joanne. Another vanilla, all this is vanilla. And I like to, let's just see here what we have before I keep going. Yeah, see I cut that. See, this would be perfect. If you wanna dip into your other piece or if you would've cut it the long way first, you could've used this for your envelope flap. That would've been so awesome and amazing to have that piece be the envelope flap. Um, it would have been. <laughs> so I don't want to cut into another piece right now, though. <laughs> I have that problem. <laughs> All right, so what's in here? You have your base. Okay, those are the pieces that I cut early with you. Thank you so much, Marsha Long. All right. Thanks, Karen. All right, so make sure you burnish your edges. And this is a horizontal card. So let's make sure we keep it horizontal. And that'll go like that there. In here you have a piece that's for your sentiment. You have a gold foil die cut. Yes, you guys, my helpers are amazing. Um, Anna and Tammy and Sandy did all the die cutting for this class. So we're gonna put that here, but I need to call something out that if you hold this on this, you can see here that it doesn't work. Like you're like, well, where is that coming from? Well, we cut this apart and re 
engineered it, okay? So stay tuned for that. You have a piece of vellum. Rhonda did all your embossing. Um, she embossed this with that lovely flowers, loveliest flowers. Thanks, Donna Gucci, loveliest flowers. So that is a piece that's gonna go right here. And then you have a piece of vanilla and a piece of petal pink. And that'll be for your inside. And we have this guy left. And that is your flower. And that's for the outside. So the other thing that needs to get fussy cut is this guy. And you're just gonna work your way around the horn, the treble horn. And take a moment in time and relax and think about nothing. <laughs> Stick your tongue out and get your fussy cutting done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. So, got that. And this one's not anywhere near as difficult as that big flower power was. But, and I don't do all the jagged edges of the leaves. I just get around it. All right, almost there. So this sheet is full of these different flowers on Pretty Peacock. You could do your lots of cards with all the flowers you have. Okay, thanks, Feline. Donna loves it too, yay. Okay, so that's ready to go, okay? All right, so let's do our stamping first. And this is congratulations on your wedding day. All right, so that must be not out. Oh yeah, it's not out. It is on the case, no. Oh, it's right here, congratulations on your wedding day. And then what else is on the inside? Oh, we did that same flower and wishing you a lifetime. Okay, perfect. So we'll grab our peacock back and we did this one on the inside, kind of in the middle. So we're gonna grab this that right about there okay and then we're gonna clean this really quick and switch out our blocks and this is congratulations on your wedding day again this would be another pretty card for something else it doesn't have to be a wedding card cool and then the other color that got used oh, I'm not opening it yet you guys I'm getting I'm gonna leave the inside. I got peacock open, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna have the same thing happen that just happened. All right, so this is angled a little bit and then congratulations on your wedding days, right about here. I'm hoping that it's straight. They're red rubber stamps, you guys. <laughs> so you can't quite see through them. It's crooked, okay. So I'm gonna hold it up just a hair on the right hand side and see if that makes a little bit of a difference like that. We'll give that a second. That helped. Okay, that's more straight. Okay, let's close up the peacock and bring in the crumb cake, the cakes of the crumb, the crumbs of the cake. Grab this little piece back and this is the flower on the side here. Like that. Cool. That's it for stamping. So it's another class where if you don't have these stamps, so far you're good. You're, you're, you're okay. You don't necessarily need to have them. All right. So let's do a couple things for gluing. This will be good. So let's get these two. Do you guys do that at home too? There's nothing on here, but instinctively you go like that <laughs> to, oh, to flip it over. Okay, so there's that. So a lot of people have issues using liquid glue. I never do. I've gotten, in the beginning I did, but I've gotten used to it now. Oh, we could glue this one too. Um, the trick is not to go too close to the edge. If you do get so close to the edge and it oozes out, then you're gonna have problems. But don't go so close to the edge and you won't have problems. And then this goes on the top of our pretty peacock like this. Good, you can open it up. And then this one can go in here. Now, if you want to die cut something out of the middle of these, you are definitely welcome to, because it just gets covered up. 
All right, so nice double matting here. Hi, Nancy. All right, so there's our, so Peacock with Petal Pink, pretty. Peacock with Moody Mauve, pretty. All right, so here's the deal with this thing. If you put adhesive behind the vellum, you're gonna see it. So uh, you gotta be strategic about where you place your adhesive. Now, I know that this label is gonna go right about here, and I know a flower is gonna go right about there. So I know that I would be safe if I put, so this is the top, right? So I'm gonna flip it this way, and I'm gonna put some right through here, and I'm gonna put some right here, just to hold it for the moment. So right now, my adhesive is covered up here. Oh, and it, it could have been, I don't know if I can pull it off. It could have been over Just a hair. I should have had it over just like right there. So it, it's basically behind the flower and behind. Now, that's how I would do this in the beginning. I'm going to add more adhesive to the vellum later, but for now, I just want to get this secured good enough on the front of the card like that. So it gives it a whole different texture and look by having that vellum. You can still see the pretty designer paper, but you have this delicate embossing. And I don't know if you guys saw that when you emboss vellum, it makes it turn to that whitish. It looks so cool. Like the most deep parts that got embossed, it turns it white. And it's so delicate that sometimes it will even crack the vellum. So you just have to be very careful. I know that in some cases that vellum can crack and it's okay. Just don't make it crack anymore. Just leave it be how it is. Like I can feel it starting to crack right there. Hi Karen Stagg. I'm sorry, Chris, I did not hear you say what card class this was there was there is. A Marsha Long, this is the Forever Love Ink Paper Scissors. Okay, so then we're gonna cut this at an angle. Like that. And I'm good with that. And then on the side here, uh, we have a little bit of ribbon. So we're gonna do our loop, loop tail. Yeah, Cindy, the embossed with the vellum is so awesome. Definitely, I definitely agree. So we need some weighting in the wings for here. And then we need some, and it's between these two leaves, basically. We're going to pick that tear and tape off. And our ribbon is here. And we're going to, we're right where this leaf starts. We're going to catch the end of it. And we're gonna make a small, and this is hard, it's backwards for me to go this way. So we're gonna, I just gotta look real quick. Yep, that's exactly right. So we're going to make a small loop. And as I make my small loop, I'm angling it down and then I'm bringing it back to make another loop. And I don't know if I have tear and tape all the way there. I'm hoping I do. And then we're gonna bring it I'm bringing it back and having a tail coming out right there. All right, so let's take our ribbon scissors and trim that. So that's what we've got, a loop, a loop, and a tail. I'm going to flip it over so you can see what my back looks like that. And now that will come apart if you don't put more tape over it. So I'm going to put, I don't know if I have enough. We're going to do enough right here to hold it. And then I think I'm gonna grab one more piece to really pickle it. All right, so now that's not gonna come apart. And you can see here, I did stamp that on both sides, didn't I? So you can see here what we've got, a loop, a loop, and a tail. All right, now we're on to the fun part. We are going to Frankenstein this very pretty old circle. I'm gonna show you why too, because if you have this like that, it's pretty, it looks very nice. You can see it looks a perfect little circle. But when you go to put your tag here, like that, and you put your flower here, and you could do the simple button, like that's easy, you could end your card and have it look like that, and that's perfectly fine, right? Now, I do like that actually. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we wanted to have more of the, to make it look like it was a solid leafy structure, like wreath going all the way around. So we did cut it apart. And so you can see back here, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so we cut it like right about here, okay? And we did cut it, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this end right here, I'm gonna just hold it over it. Yep, yeah, we cut it right and rounded this leaf off here. There, okay? So we have two pieces now. This piece is in the spot where it looks like it's at. And then this will end up going here. And then your label goes here. And then what we did is, we gotta tighten that up just a little bit. Like this, and then like that. That's basically what we're gonna end up doing. And I'm gonna zoom in just so you guys can see that. That's basically what we did. All right, so now I'm gonna zoom back because all we have to do is glue this down now. So we're going to, on this, I'm not gonna take my dimensionals off, but I'm just prepping them. We're gonna set that with those two. And then Marsha set another gorgeous card. Yay, yeah, you guys, this is so much fun to make these cards. Oh my, oh my, so pretty. Okay, what we're gonna do is prep the back of this. <sighs> dot, dot, not a lot with a little bit of liquid glue. You don't want too much. We're gluing it on vellum, so you're gonna have to give it some drying time. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about this, that part. And I've got this. This third leaf from the left is what's almost touching the top and it's kind of in the middle. So that's gonna go right about here. I'm just gonna set that there and scope this out really quick. I feel like that's gonna be good. Okay, so we got that done. All right, then I am gonna pick these off and I'm gonna gingerly set this down on here. Okay, I can still move it if I need to. And then this one, I'm gonna pick these off and I think we're gonna put a little bit of liquid glue. Clever wreath hack, ha ha ha. I know, right? <laughs> tricky, tricky. All right, I'm gonna gently pick this up, sneaker this in here like that. Okay, we got something like that. And then this piece, this last little guy, Gonna close it off okay so this is going to end up on the top of it and then liquid glue dot dot yes marcia long i have oodles of this glass left i'm so excited that you asked <laughs> oh you guys i if i had to bet this this class will be on my past classes for an entire year if i have to guess we have like 20 left i just we really may it goes back to like not wanting to run out and we almost ran out during um ips we kept making more, and so we just made more. Elaine Rebeck says, yes, please, too. Yay. Okay, so this is going to get tucked up in here. Oh, I don't want to cover up my day, so we're going to make sure that that hangs out right there. Okay, so it's going sneaking right behind my day. And it basically looks like the same circle. You would never know that that wasn't the original circle that you started with. Stella, you could definitely Stella your flowers. Flower. And with this one, we pulled in the petal pink and we pulled in the peacock. And I grabbed a big peacock over here and a wee little one of the petal pink color right next to it. This guy migrating, migrating north on me. Okay. And then we did a peacock over here. We'll go right there with it. And then we've got a big petal pink here and a small peacock one next to it. Again, these are the gems that you really need to press down. Yes, Marshall Long, absolutely. Just send me a quick message so that I can 
when I get into my emails or my text messages, I can jot it down and set one aside for you. All right, and since the class is gonna be in the past, we could always mail it out with your next package that you have going out, which is no problem. Okay. So, I think that's it. Now, back to the vellum. So, you saw here that I put a gem and a gem and gems. And so, this is pretty secure, except for here. This is not very secure here. So, knowing now, what I can do is there's a bigger um, embellishment right there. So, my trick would be to take a glue dot and put that right behind where the embellishment is. Okay? And then it's, that glue dot is hitting, hidden behind right there. And now we've got that more structurally sound. This needs a little help too. And what I would do for that is put it right behind where the leaf is. So grab that glue dot and you're gonna put it right behind where this leaf is right there. And no one will know that it's back there because the leaf is covering it up. And down here, same thing. We can put one behind that bigger peacock dot. So lift that up sneaker it in there and then here I think we're good but now now we've secured um this class is $39 mailed and it includes everything that you saw with the goodie bag this pack the embellishments and the ribbon and then the four card kits all right and a beautiful and four beautiful cards <laughs> perfect okay so we got that one done yay Whew, you guys were cruising right along Okay, we have two more to go, and we're going to do this one next. Now, this is the one that tricked me. We didn't have any designer paper on it. But because of those envelopes and those, those cards, we it looks like designer paper, but it's not. So let's see what you guys have in your kit here. All right, so that's the card we're going to do. Now, this is the one that has the pretty envelope, right? Because that's the envelope that comes with those cards and envelopes. Are forever helpful. Ha ha. Get it? Forever love and forever helpful. <laughs> I got your pun there. <laughs> All right. So, you guys, in here, another pretty peacock base. All right. And with, with, the, with the class, Marsha, and anybody else, when you take an online class with me with kits, it comes with the PDF tutorial, which includes pictures, measurements, supplies, and instructions. All right. So, this one. I think Sandy, Koi, Emery, you were asking where these flowers come from. Now I'm answering your question. I'm going to show you where they come from. All right, so you have a scrap in here. This is for your flowers. Flower. Now, you also have this, which is another pretty frame. Now, these are part of the Lifetime of Love dies. That's where this frame came from and also the other frame that we just used. And then what we did is, <laughs> Anna Revadu cut all these for you guys. So not only did we just cut the frame like this, Anna cut you another piece, but only big enough that it would fit right. So this piece is what fits right in here like that, okay? So we cut two pieces from that die. And it's set up so that it goes onto this flower piece, which is part of the card, and then it fits. We have it set up that that flower right there is pretty much where the frame goes. So it's like the top kind of goes over the top of that flower, so kind of like is very cohesive. All right, so that's gonna go up here. You have two little gold leaves, which will go up here. These are from that die set as well. They're gonna go like that. And you have two innies, a moody mauve and a vanilla. And that is for your double matting on your inside. Okay, <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> yes. Thank goodness we have such amazing die cutters and embossers and Karen Wetstein helped me put all of your goodie bags together. So it was, uh, again, another labor of love. Um, so we're using this stamp sentiment one more time, wishing you a lifetime of love and happiness. Now, I highly recommend that you make sure you stamp this, like put this into here, and then you won't accidentally have it backwards this way or upside down this way. Like get it so you know exactly how it needs to get stamped, okay? You could even have this set up like it was for your stamping experience. You could. And we need the peacock ink and this one. So you get one shot, you guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> like if you don't get it right, um, unless you have the die set, you're gonna have to, potentially you could 
take that piece and make yourself another one with vanilla, but like you're gonna have to like finagle it with the scissors. All right, so we're gonna be putting this right about here. And just hoping it's straight. Okay, so our flowers, flower, are stamped in peacock as well. All right, so you have two. I don't know if I gave myself a big enough scrap, but we figured we'd test it out and see, oh yeah, that should work. So you're gonna stamp one of these guys in this corner, right? Okay, we didn't give a lot of wiggle, wiggle room. You guys, I got a brand new pretty peacock ink pad. It is juicier than all juicy. All right, and then you have one more flower and it should fit right here. So yes, your scrap was big enough. We were hopeful, all right, there it is. Boom, two flowers on that little scrap. That's what you're trying to accomplish. The inside is the leaf. All right, so let's set that there. Bring this over here and I have a leaf. If I only had a leaf, well I do. That leaf right there is part of this set. All the stamps, except for the congratulations, are coming from this lifetime of love. And then this, I go right there, boom. And sentiment is congratulations. So let's set you there. We're gonna grab another block so that I don't have to clean something at the moment. And the trick for these uh, photopolymer stamps is set them down and then pick it up with your block and it should stay as straight as possible. And that's gonna go right there. Okay. Hi, Barbara Parker. You like them. I'm glad you think they're beautiful. Yay. Okay. So I think, I think we're done with our stamping, but we have a little coloring to do. We are going to pull in our peacock, oh man, are these the same? They look light peacock and light peacock, oh man. I don't, you know what? We're just gonna go with light peacock. I'm not gonna look for the dark and that's okay. We have such a small area. We're just gonna color in our leaves with the light peacock. I'm using the fine end. I'm not worrying about shading, I'm just coloring. If you don't have the peacock stamp and blends, um, you could use your markers, like um, your water-based markers, your Stampin' Write markers. You could also use an ink pad and a blender pen to color these in. But there's that. Okay. So, the other is Moody Mauve. And let's see once what the light one looks like. A little bit more fluorescent -y than I think I want it. So I'm gonna go with this one. And so the peacock is a water-based ink, and so you're using blends which are alcohol-based, so that it shouldn't bleed. So that's okay. You people, I often in the beginning thought you can only use memento with using blends, but that's not true. This is pretty peacock, and I'm using blends, and it's working just fine. All right, so there's that one. And then we'll do this one. I don't, I'm not gonna worry about using a light and a dark. I'm just going for it. I'm coloring them and not blending. We are just coloring. It's trying to stay in the lines is what we're trying to do for class tonight. So, and there's one little spot that I need to do yet and that's yellow. I forgot to get a yellow one. So let me get yellow. Oh, they call me Mallow Yellow. All right, put a little daffodil in the middle. Boom. Okay, if you have the dyes. Now, if you don't have the stamp set, what other flowers could you use? Girls gotta have flowers somewhere, right? And if you don't have flowers, I'm gonna show you what you can do too because it looks perfectly fine without flowers. And we'll show you that in a second. But if you don't have these flowers and you're using other flowers, you'll have to figure out how to cut them out. Um, if you have these flowers and you have the dyes, I would definitely use the dyes. Um, I left my dyes upstairs in my craft room. Did not think about bringing them down. 
so you guys get to see me fussy cut again. Um, let's see how good I do. Uh, I've often heard that you're supposed to use uh, move the paper versus moving the scissors. Um, so I think Shelly Gardner taught me that and many years ago. So I've never minded fussy cutting unless it's like more than three things. If I have to cut more than three, so we're at like three right now. So I should say if it's more than 10 things. Oh, and today you guys was oh, so much fussy cutting with all those tools. So you guys with the tools, <laughs> I'm going to ask. So Jolene's been writing. Okay. So big, big kudos to Jolene and Karen for helping with the tutorials. Um, Jolene's been helping me write the tutorials and I'm going to reach out to her when it comes time for the tools stamp a stack. What we're going to do is we're going to photograph the DSP pages um, that have all the tools on them and I'm going to have her go through and circle all the tools that are used for the class so that you know which ones to cut out and I think we're going to be strategic about it and we're going to number them 1 through 14 so that you know which card we use them on. Um, in case you want to do them exactly like how we did them. So, um, how many craft rooms do I have? I have one craft room. It has been the craft room that I've used my entire existence. I bought my house 14 years ago this year. It's a, it's a bedroom upstairs in, I have a Cape Cod, little Cape Cod style house. It's a bedroom upstairs and that is my craft room. <laughs> uh, that's where I've designed my entire, for the last 14 years, anytime I made a card, I design upstairs. <laughs> you guys are probably like, well, wait, what? Aren't you stamping in your craft room right now? <laughs> and I'd be like, ah, you, you, it's call this my craft room. Like this is an industrial strength craft room. This is not my personal space where I craft though. Um, this is my hive where we have classes and I do my lives and I actually create and design cards upstairs in the, my house and that's where I have my entire like 14 years that I've been here when I lived in other places I was always I always had a craft room um but yes there are two different rooms <laughs> so um this is the hive this is where we do lives this is where we have class I've created and like maybe designed two classes in this room once with Jennifer Mo Hampshire and once with Chris and Diane that we sat at a table and I'll tell you it's just it's awkward designing down here. So, but so good question, Marsha. A lot of you guys probably believe and think that I design everything and I live in the hive down here and I, I actually I don't. All right. So let's show you guys what we've got here. All right. This can get glued and these can get glued. So let's get three glues going. I, I, I've had that. I think Angelique, I've had that conversation with you that you thought that, that this was where I did all my designing and my creating in here. And that when you learn that I actually, I have a, a craft room. And like, I have a traditional craft room, you guys. It's a bedroom that's where I'd go all my crafting in. And it's been converted into a, a hobby room. One public and one private. So, yes. <laughs> so, technically, Debbie, yes. The answer is two. Two craft rooms, one public and one private. You are correct. I can't deny that this is a craft room. <laughs> all right. Perfect. So those are, again, our inside. You guys, I have no idea. I, where's the end of my camera here? Right there. So one, you guys might see my like shirt for a second. I got to fix this because there's so much that, hang on, just one second. There. I didn't realize how off that was. You guys probably couldn't see all the stuff I was doing down here. And now I think it's better. Oh, huh, okay. And we've lost the top, but we'll go like that. <laughs> okay. So we're still good. Okay. So now we have this. Okay. Now, what would this look like if you don't have flowers? All right. So if you don't have flowers or you don't want to put flowers on, it would look like this. And that doesn't look bad. That looks good. And then you could add and tuck these leaves in to other spots on the card here. You could like weave them in here and that would look good. But since we do have flowers, flower, we want to use them. Okay, so how would I do this? I would take my tear and tape and you guys, this, I, I get that same thing where I picture somebody doing something and it's hard for me to believe that it's something else when they explain to me how it really is. There, okay. So I'm gonna put this tape, this tear and tape across the back of this and then I'm going to overlap this flower slightly. And it's gonna be something like that. Okay, and that's eventually going to go right there. 
And we've got a loop and a loop and a tail, a loop, a loop, and a tail. All right. So I'm going to pick that off, and we're going to utilize some of that. And we're going to put two of, of them waiting in the wings over here. And we're going to do two over here, two scoops of Raisin Brand on the other side here, like that. All right, let's see what we can finagle. All right. Now, just a reminder, you guys, Mystery Car Night is on Monday night. I sent the email out today about it. And I also have it up, all the clue one is um, on a fade. Oh, it's one loop and one tail. Okay, so that's not so crazy. Um, if you want to salvage this end, you could try to. And what you would do is use the tail first and then come back. I have a hard time doing that. I'm going to make my loop. <laughs> do my loops. My loop up here and then bring out your tail. And then cut that. So we got Mystery Car Night on Monday night as well. So we have two lives back to back on Monday. One at one and one at six. So I wouldn't say they're back to back, but they're close enough to being back to back. So you guys know I can't see that there. So there's this right there. And we're going to flip this over and we're just gonna rip this and leave that sitting in case we need it. And then on this side, over here coming out of this leaf, right here we have a loop. <laughs> Connie Moore said, looks like she has another one she'll have to order by the end of April. All right. Oh, you guys, get it on your radar. The, the annual catalog um, will be ending soon. Um, you have until, I think, the end of April for the annual catalog as well. And so th start thinking about your in colors. It's like my public service announcement that the in colors will be retiring. I'll put that like that, I think. I'm going to grab this one. So if you need to get any ink refills or any cardstock or ribbons, anything that you need to get before it leaves us, get that on your radar to start getting it now. Because once they are gone, they're gone. And you're usually good now, yet in February, because it's still two months away. But sooner or later, that will be here. I'm going to pick this one off, too. I might be jumping the gun here, but I have it in my hand, and I'm going to try to get these. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I'm going to set this over here now. So we have to still glue this. That's what I forgot about. So we're going to take, and this is hard to glue. I will be honest with you. It's so teeny tiny. We don't really need to worry about gluing this top ridge because it's going to be underneath. So what we do want to grab are the sides and... If you have like the sticker sheets, like you could definitely make this into a sticker, but we didn't do that. Okay, there, it started to come out. And I'm just running some liquid glue over some key strategic spots, like right there. And I was reading Vicki's message. I'm so... so Sorry, but I've got to run. Cards are so beautiful. All right, have a good night, Vicki. It was good to have you on here for a little bit. Yay. All good. You can always catch the replay or check out the tutorial to finish off the cards. All right, that's enough glue for me. And we're going to put this. I'm going to try to center it off of the frame itself and not the flowers. And make sure it overlaps with that flower right there. Okay, so there we go. All right, so we know that's down. And then this guy, what you can do for this one, a little bit of liquid glue. You can catch some of those end things just so that, not a lot, because you don't want glue oozing everywhere. All right. Uh, Marsha Long, I think, Karen, I think she is interested in the perennial lavender ink paper scissors I think and Marsha my question for you was you had messaged me earlier about that you guys saw how that fit right in there Marsha you had messaged me earlier about that so that's why I'm thinking you want that one but I was going to confirm with you because you already received one and paid for one so I didn't know if you wanted a second one was my one what I was wondering so I was going to reach out to you and ask if you were definitely wanting a second one or 
or if you were didn't realize your other one maybe hasn't come in the mail yet. I thought it did, but all right. So what we're doing here is we're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. And then this is going to kind of nestle at the top over here, like that, something like that. And then grab your glue dots and we're gonna put our leaves on with glue dots. And so this one is gonna now get tucked in over there, sneak him in right there. And then this other one is gonna sneak her in on the other side, back to the other side over there. Good. All right. Success, I think. All right. We'll set this there for later in life if we need it. And on to the gems. So the petal pink didn't go so well in this one. So I didn't know if you saw. Yeah, I... No worries, Karen. I appreciate you following up with a message because sometimes I can see things and sometimes I don't. So you never know what I catch and I don't. And if I'd rather see things twice than see it not at all, right? <laughs> so I appreciate you checking in on what Marsha wanted. All right. That's what teamwork is all about, right? And then one here. I've got one more. We got to do our odds, right? And the other one can go right there. Perfect. That's what we have for you tonight on this card. I do see if I would be stamping this again. I could have moved it down and nestled it down here a little bit more. But that's okay. I can't change it now. <laughs> it's already put together. And whoever gets this is not going to be as critical as I am or you are of your own work. So, but... That's what we've got. And we've got that for our inside. Perfect. All right, you guys. So there's card number three. And we have my favorite for last. And you guys are in for a doozy of a treat for this one. Whew. All these little baby flowers. Mm. Sandy and her mom die cut all these little schniblins for you. <laughs> and that's what they are. Schniblins. All right. Let's see here. So that's what we're going to be making. This guy right here. I think it's my favorite. All right. And then this one. Be very, very, very careful opening this up. I repeat, be careful. There are lots of little bits and parts in here. All right. Might not look at it right now, but it will be. So here's your top piece. And that's going to go over the top of your paper here. So Yes, if you need to, Mary Lemke, <clears throat> if you need to cut out a die from the middle of this, go for it now. Make it happen because this is going to get glued right over the top of it. And if you want, you could salvage some of the middle. Um, <laughs> Laura Sullivan, just going to put this out there that if you don't have Moody Mauve markers, you can use Rococo Rose. Uh, you might not have caught it, but that's what I use because my Moody Mob markers are upstairs again in my craft room. So Rococo Rose, for anybody that has the ink colors from when Peacock came out originally, like with Seaside Spray, uh, Rococo Rose is a winner. So you might have those, Laura, if you didn't, if you had those. So yes, thanks to the helpers. Definitely agree. So you guys, I can't get anything by you. I have to tell you exact, whoa, my tears went down here. I have to tell you what I'm... Oh, man, what is happening? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My chair wants to stay up, you guys. All right. Oh, okay. So, two and three eighths inch circle punch. This is the style of shapes. Right there. That's the circle we're working with. Okay, work with me. You have two scoops. Two leaves, just kidding. Two scoops of raisin band right there. And you have two stem things like that. Okay, don't lose them. And six flowers. I personally triple checked everybody's that you have six. I know you have six. I know it. So if you can't find it, check everywhere um, to figure out where it is. Oh, man, I should have done this one first. So we put in here, we put in here two strips. Now, if you haven't put your cards together, 
where do you want to use your strips? This one could go here on this side, right? Like that. And we had already kitted up the other card and that this could go in this one right here. So I stamped a leaf down there, but you could stamp or you could glue this in here and like just trim the ends and then it would match the outside. So you have an extra little strip, a side strip in case you want to use it. But <laughs> so just be careful, you guys don't lose your little bits and parts. Um, you could get by probably with five flowers if you lose one and that would be okay. All right. So then you have your vanilla and then the peacock and that is what goes on the inside. All right. So lots of pieces. All right. There's that. And I think we will stamp first. And on our inside, this one has Oh, forever and always. Amen. Um, George Strait, right? Forever and always. So let's clean you and clean you so that we can swap out some stamps. All right. So we need forever and always goes on the inside. And then we'll do... The other one. Congratulations on your wedding day. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's in Peacock and it's already good. Okay, cool beans. So you're going to grab your little circle, actually your big circle, and it's inky dinky do. It's going to go right in the middle like that. So, Marsha, you did, you figured out that you got the January class kit. Good, you got it. So, I'm guessing you don't want another one, right? And I was wondering if you wanted a second one or if you had forgotten that you got one. So, that's just what I was trying to confirm with you. All right, and then here's our forever and always. Amen. Right there. Good deal. All right, perfecto changeo. And that's it for stamping, you guys. <laughs> I feel like I cheat you out of stamping when we do nothing but sentiments, but we make it so that you can easily, oh man. Okay, I didn't follow Karen what signs rules. Um, stamping, when you have a side, <laughs> she always calls out when, on the tutorial, when we put something on the side, she always has me make sure to reference that, stamp it to the left more versus to the right or in the middle. And so um, what I'm gonna do is put this upside down on the side here as a template so I don't accidentally stamp it. Oh, wrong one. We want forever and always, amen. And I'm gonna move it over to the left, just a hair. Hi, Sandy Wake. You said that you sent me a check today for the card class. Thank you so much. I will get your class in the mail for you tomorrow then. So, all right, we're gonna get glue happy. So, glue, glue glue and glue. So let's do this first like that. And I'm going to set that there while I get this one on. And make sure I'm flush on my two sides here. And then any little bit of overhang, just cut that off. I'm trying to get right there it is okay all right so now we can glue okay use the other one on the bottom oh do you mean like like is that what you mean Debbie to put them both on the bottom like that I'm not sure if that's what you mean I'm, I'm gonna stick with just the side I think for now, but that did look cool having that on the bottom. So there's one. Oh, that's a pretty pink here. There's two. There's our white card. And then here's this. All right, so four things glued. So let's get the first one down, which is this. And it adds a nice accent. That gold peeking out. And this, they have a direction as well. So this is going to go right like this. 
And then this one goes on the inside like that. Now, if you're not a double matter, you don't have to. You could have stamped right on the inside and saved these cardstock for something else. But it does pop instead of stamping. Yes, exactly. I think that's what you meant. This one right here. So instead of stamping, you could definitely put this one down on the bottom. That was that was why we put both of them in your kit so that you could utilize it. And I'm gonna put it in that kit because somebody's gonna get that someday. All right, now, what do we have here? We need to do our, our loop tail, loop tail. So grab our two waiting in the wing and put two down right away. And this is up in that top corner there and the bottom corner like that okay if you have any parts that hang over when you peel off the waxy paper you can just fold them back and they won't hang over the edge all right so grab the ribbon the ribbon is very pliable so it does fold nicely so you're going to grab this and make a loop bring it down here and then bring it back y'all make a tail like so grab this one waiting over here and you're going to catch that and then down here it's going to be a loop first here thanks for sharing betty ray and a loop and a tail now you could go ham on this you could do more you could make another loop or more tails however you want to i kept it just with the two though so we're going to catch that Hold that down. Okay. You guys, that's it for the ribbon. So you have lots of ribbon left to make more pretty things. And, oh, look at this. Boom. 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 Finished it. Exciting sauce there. All right. So then this will get adhered onto our peacock circle, which is slightly bigger than it. There's a little bit of my tear and tape peeking out. All right. Just put that right here. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, thanks Angela Knutson. I think Debbie meant to use the first side with the stamp and put the piece on the bottom. You chose to flip it over and re-stamp. I have to read that again. I think Debbie meant to use the first side with the stamp and put the piece at the bottom. You chose to flip it over and re-stamp. <laughs> oh, ha ha. I get it now. So Terry, I had to read that twice even to understand what was happening. <laughs> okay, I get where you guys are going. Okay, I get it now. I had originally stamped my forever and always in the middle and I could have left it is what they're saying and just use this on the bottom and not use this because my I had already glued it, but had I not glued that, I could have just used at the bottom. I think I get it now. Yay, <laughs> see, it always takes just a moment to get things. <laughs> All right, so I think what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna glue just the middle area right here, which will still give me some space then to stick things in. So this is gonna go along the bottom right-hand corner here, something like so. Okay, all right. So one of these leaves is gonna go here and the other one is gonna go down here. And you gotta pokey pokey a little bit out of both of them. And I think for good measure, we're just gonna use. <laughs> and Debbie's probably like, she didn't get it after trying to explain it two times. I'm just gonna let it be. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't have gotten it anymore so I'm, <laughs> I need to, I, you guys sometimes I need things spelled out for me I really do okay so this little guy is going to talk so the reason I put glue there only is because now I can lift this up and get this where I want it which is right there and then we're going to pick up sticks on this side and put them down over yonder here which is right about maybe there okay and then you're gonna grab, so one of these goes at the top and one goes at the bottom. And I don't know, I think they're both pretty interchangeable, but we're going to grab it with a glue dot 
and then this is going to go underneath here. Get it up in there, something like that. And we can always finagle it just a little bit if we need to. And then this one is gonna go right about here. All right, so we've got that. Now we have to get our flowers down and they're little, they're really, really little. If you look at these guys, there's six wee little ones. All right, so three of them, four of them look the same and two look like that. And I think I'm just gonna use glue dot, like liquid glue here. And I feel like that could go more like that, like that. And we're gonna put that more over there. So because I only use one glue dot, I can finagle a little bit. So we're gonna do a glue dot, a, a dot of liquid glue, dot of liquid glue. And then this one goes here. And then one is gonna go here. And then one goes right there. Okay, so there's the three. And then on this side, we're gonna put one there, one there, and one goes over here somewhere. All right, and then the more flat one is the one that goes in the middle. And then one goes here, and then one goes. We can move our leaf a little bit, like that. Oh, I love this one a lot. <laughs> yes, she got it, yay. Okay, so that's what we've got so far, right? Now, my leaves are not very structurally sound and they're very loosey-goosey. So what you can do, is help them out by adding just a little dot of liquid glue right about there. That'll hold that one down. And then we can do the same thing on this one. Just a little dot, see? Like that is good. And that can go right there. Okay, perfect. Muy bueno, it's very pretty, well done. Love it. Okay, gems. Okay, we've been giving the love to the pretty peacock, but now we get to give love to the petal pink. So the six flowers, they have six gemsies in the middle of their petals. Choose your words. And okay. This is why this pokey tool is perfect. I like to pick up with the putty end, and if I drop it along the way, I can help out with the pokey tool side. So we got that. Now that one did not stick, so let's, my glue is not dry, so let's try again. Pick that up, put things down, and then we've got some peacock ones. I've got one, I'm gonna press that down in a minute. Two, see, I can flip it around. And then we've got a small one right there. Okay, and then we've got a wee little one. We're there. Lots of gems, one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh man, it's odd number. Odd number's not good. I mean, <laughs> even number, six. This is an even number, not good. So <laughs> probably, I hope you're laughing with me. Okay, so there's our three. I think what we could do, we could put one more down there and make it our odd number. Hi, Mary Ellen Ryan from Chile, Montana. All right, press these guys down really good. All right, and then you can Stella, Ella, Ella, whatever you want. Stella is still not back in stock, so... We haven't heard any news on her arrival date, but we've got our Terran tape done. We've got the last card ready to go. We've got quite a few gemsies left in case you have more projects waiting for more pretty gems. We've got lots of ribbon left over to make some pretty, more pretty cards. One of the tricks that I do with the ribbon is I use my tape on the side here 
and I tab one of the ends and then I use that so it doesn't come apart later in life. All right, let's bring them all in. Let's show some love to these cards. Tell us what your favorite one is. I, I always like to end, if, my, if I can, with my favorite. I like that one the best. Susan loves all the cards. Yay! So there's that guy. And then there's this one. Cool. A lot of pretty peacock action going on, you guys. So Deanna Stell, you said you love pretty peacock. This is your pretty peacock, Phil. <laughs> so awesome. Let's move that right there. All right. Da -da -da. Good job. We did it. Yay. Awesome sauce. It was a team effort again. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So you guys, in a couple weeks, I've got some team building exercises going on. There's a couple people on my team that are striving to um, grow and promote. And so we're getting together on the 23rd, 24th um, to have some team time. And Jenna Helms is coming in from Hudson and she's going to show me what to do to get rid of my lights. And I'm sure it's like a five minute fix, but until she, I'm going to wait and work on it with her. <laughs> but for now we get my flashy lights on the side. I just, we live with things, right? All right. So Melody says, so pretty. Love them all. Jennifer says, Angelique says the first is her favorite. Oh, very nice. I like it. Good, good, good. Very good. All are pretty, says Mary Carls. Yay. Good deal. Love, love, love. Joanne loves them all. Good, good, good. All right, so you guys, the trick with your stamps is on the side here, what I'm doing is taking a little scrap paper. And I like to stamp off a few times before I actually go to clean so that it keeps my chamois a little nicer. Keep some of the ink out of it. All right. It's always good to get cleaned up right away. Oh, the first one, but they're all okay. They're all pretty. Good God, you guys are liking them. All right, so we'll do a little door prize drawing here. Um, I was happy we did a big mailing. We had 80 packages, you guys, 80. 80 was the number of how many we mailed out yesterday. Wow. And uh, I'm happy to say that prizes went out in about 10 of the packages that I could get caught up with some prizes that people won. All right, so I got one more stamp and then we'll do that drawing. Terry said the second is her favorite. And the second one, ooh, that was the second one. Good deal. So we have some cross versatility here that you guys are liking all of them differently. Good. Okay, so let's pull up my book. And I'm going to look to see how many people we had sign up for class. I'm at 50 that were signed. And I'll be honest with you guys. I'm going to go based off of the 50. I didn't catch off the top of my head the names of people for tonight that want to add it. So we're going to go with the 50. of And just whoever had signed up by the time class started is what we'll do. And we're going to go to random number generator. I will put 50 in here and hit the word generate and see who wins. 29. 29 is Feline Mays. Feline, you are lucky. I feel like you just won one of them recently because I think that I had a prize for you. And we're gonna hit generate again at 30. It went right to 30. So Feline and Laura Sullivan, you girls are the lucky duck winners. Yay, good job, good job. All right. Debbie can't pick a favorite. She keeps changing her mind. Um, and Jenny Pain got an email that it shipped. Yes, yay, yes, your kit went off. It did, your trusty tools went off. Okay, very good. So we did our door prize, which is good. Um, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, you guys, we're gonna go over the scavenger hunt. Yay, it was a reschedule. I had every intention of doing it on Tuesday, not Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Monday. Ah, uh, I took longer to the, to the year end guessing game questions. And so, um, yeah, that video took about an hour and a half and it took, um, it took the place basically the scavenger hunt. So we moved the scavenger hunt to Friday. So we have it tomorrow at 11 and then at two or two 30, as soon as I can get rolling, you guys, this is going to happen tomorrow afternoon. It's happening. We're going to make it happen. Okay. Um, we're going to go through Happy Mail and we're going to go through swaps. As much as we can, I'm going to devote about two hours to rocking and rolling through that pile. And I have a pile here and I have a pile over there of swap cards and I want to get through them. So yay. Um, if we go over by a little bit, that's okay. But my plan is from like two until four, two until 4.30. 
um, to do a live tomorrow showing the Happy Mail. And again, if you can't watch it for whatever reason, you can always catch the catch the replay. This is to show you guys ideas, inspiration, just to show you what others are creating and sending to me. Um, I love to share what I get. So um, this has been a long time coming. <laughs> so I'm a Laura Sullivan. Every time I move, oh, not that way. Every time I move, you see the bee that you made. <laughs> so, all right. Hi, Bobby McPherson. Yay. Okay. So again, we'll be live at 11 tomorrow for the scavenger hunt. And then again, around 2 or 2.30, maybe 1.30 if I get my S together, you know, my, the, you know, get my, my, get my stuff together um, and uh, can get live earlier. So, but sweet dreams to you, Nancy, as well. Um, and then after that, what about the behind you? Yes, that's tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> so, um, and then we'll see once where tomorrow holds too. I have a, um, one, two, three, I have five spots left on the board in case anybody needs to get any orders in between now and tomorrow. If there are five of them, I would do the celebration board drawing. And if not, we'll save it for Monday because I have class over the weekend. If I have it fill on Monday, then or, um, Saturday, we could do it Saturday too. So, all right. We did good. It was awesome, you guys. We had a very nice class. I was looking forward to this one. I always look forward to every class with you guys because it's so fun making cards with you. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I don't know if I missed anything, but I showed you lots of cards in the beginning. If you guys missed the kit class, you could always um, go through that to watch out about the member, the Inspiration Hive. I talked about that a bit last night on the, the kit class. I'm also going to be sending and formulating an email on the, that as well. So, Yay. Hi, Penny Powell, my sunshine friend. All right, you guys, lots of sunshine, love, and big hugs to you. We will see you tomorrow morning at 11 Central. I'm going to count to 10 just in case it ends early and cuts me off, which it normally does. So I uh, love you long time, everybody. One, two, three, four, five,